Yo, what's up guys? It's NLW Figs here back again with another video. Today, I'm giving you an exclusive look at the NLW garage. Ooh, my car collection. No, I'm not talking about Lamborghinis or Ferraris. I'm talking about the cars that you see in NLW. So that can range from the ambulances to the hit and runs. You know, there have been a numerous uh, occasions where I've used these in NLW and I love them because there was a time when I was first starting filming where I didn't really have that many uh, options as to what I could film because I didn't have a backstage setup. I barely had an arena setup and now I've got the ability to use these in backstage segments and stuff like that because you know backstage stuff with cars and things of that nature were all over the place in the Attitude Era so I'm glad that I can finally use them for NLW and improve the product using these and I've had a lot of fun with them and I'll go through them but before I do make sure you smash the like button, comment down below if you own any of these vehicles and also make sure to subscribe to NLW Figs for daily videos in December. But let's just start off with the main big one over here. Uh, we'll get to these in a moment. But first of all, let's talk about this. So this is a James Bond car and I believe it is a Range Rover. So you can see on the side there. By the way, it's going to be tricky to kind of get a, a look into this one. The main problem with this one is that the doors don't open. But I got this one last year and it's because it was in scale with my WWE figures, I thought it was quite a dramatic looking vehicle, especially if I wanted to film something like, for instance, the Bloodline showing up. It's a bit dusty, as you can see there. I haven't filmed many backstage segments in quite a while, but if we look inside, you can kind of see what the interior is going on. It's quite a detailed interior. It's a shame that I can't open the doors, but I'm sure I'll be able to fit some wrestling figures in there, maybe just sticking out the window. Um, yeah, but the reason this is, these doors don't open is because it's actually a remote control car. I don't have the batteries for it, but it could be um, fun to use, especially if I want to film from afar and have like a wide angle shot, although, you know, space permitting, obviously. Um, but that is essentially it. Like the wheels on here are really cool as well. It's a very detailed vehicle and I'm, I'm very happy that I managed to purchase it. I know loads of you are going to be searching for a face reveal in those windows, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the same on the other side as well. It's just a shame that the windows don't open, but you can kind of see in the back there, like they put a lot of effort into how this looks. I believe this is like a James Bond um, uh, Range Rover type mix up here for this car. So yeah, it's a good car for exposition, I would say, because you're able to show people leaving and coming into the arena with this car and yeah if I ever do a parking lot brawl that'll be something that I do quite regularly. Next up we've got this bad boy. It's the wrecking slammobile. Obviously the uh, the windshield isn't there because it's quite easily breakable. However, you can store things in the back here. And if you remember from my greatest Royal Rumble video that I've recently put up, Eddie Guerrero actually came in on this vehicle and then Austin stored uh, Randy Orton into the back here and uh, drove him away so that was a fun little spot there and this is a vehicle that I've used for a lot of things mainly because it's so customizable like for NLW 24-7 you can take the doors off you can smash the interior there so if I want to do a spot that looks really dramatic on the car I can smash them on here and the windscreen as well I can smash quite easily and even the chairs come out like this so there's a bunch of possibilities really with um, what you can do with this I believe even the axles come off as well so it's quite a a um what's the word it's a, it's in a unique vehicle i really like these wrecking vehicles that they release do mattel um i wish that AEW would release more of them like the golf cart like was promised last year um but you know it is what it is it's still a favorite vehicle of mine and you know sticking with the wrecking theme we've also got this atv now this atv obviously this came with biggie i think i did a video on it last year for my daily december videos and this is quite the vehicle in its own right. Like this one has, um, you know, a lot to change about it. You can take off these bits and this as well. It's got like a lot of um, different bits that you can kind of take off and play around with. But it's perfect for like arena segments for Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, uh, for him to come in and, you know, cause chaos. I think you remember when he was the sheriff in 2004 on Raw. He did that with, um, you know, he would come in on the on the ATV raise hell and leave as he usually did so this is another one that i've really enjoyed using for nlw you might remember i used it when john cena destroyed this vehicle of the undisputed eras so again this was one is one that i used when i tipped austin tipped the undisputed era you know with austin and nlw and metal there's a lot of possibilities for chaos and carnage so the vehicles are fantastic 
So we'll just move that to the side and all these little bits and pieces over here. And now we come on to an OG. Only OG NLW fans remember this one. First made its appearance on NLW episode 8 in 2013 when John Cena tried to kill The Undertaker. Oh, he ran him over. This was in the intro for NLW for a number of years. And it's the infamous Mystery Machine. That's what people call it because it is the Mystery Machine. You can see the uh, <laughs> it's coming through there, through this cheap paper. And yeah, this is before I had a budget. Look at that. Look at that terrible tape job. But I still like using it for NLW. I still think it's cool. Like before, it was literally just the Mystery Machine um, without even this paper on it. So... You know, I don't think this opens anymore. Like the top bit doesn't open, but you can kind of see what's going on in there. There's like a lab type setup in there. And I've even got little customizable police car things back there. That's another vehicle I'd want to get, like a police van. I think that would be interesting to use in an LW or even a fire truck, um, you know, just to update the backstage area. But look, look at that. That's terrible. It's already breaking through. But again, it's been like this for, what, nearly 10 years now? Jesus, I'm old. <laughs> but this is a good one because the figures can actually fit inside here. So they can actually sit inside pretty comfortably as opposed to uh, many of them. I think you remember, I believe it was the start of 2021 where Austin returned to NLW in this vehicle and he drove into the arena. So I've used this for a number of segments over the years. It's quite um, a historic point for nlw it's quite a historic vehicle so yeah i had to include it in this video and finally you know what we're gonna have to go down, all the way down here because it's so large that uh it deserves its own little segment so the slambulance yes i've got the slambulance i recently used it for nlw when kenny omega was kidnapped by Shawn michaels all and i've not yet to use the um this vehicle for any real uh, purpose other than that like i've only recently bought it so I'm still getting used to to using it, but it's one that I definitely want to use. Like I picked it up at a good price on Smith's and as you can see, there's like a bunch of cool features on here and it's also uber detailed. So the seats in here as well, like you can easily fit the characters in there and the door, you know, slams shut like that. And then these bits as well, like the lights come off and again, that's why I love these wrecking vehicles. Like, look at that, you can slam them through the top. That's incredible. And then you open it up and you can kind of see what's going on on the interior of this thing. So you've got the uh, heart monitor, all the different bits and pieces there. And then the stretcher as well, which comes out on a rolly. And here on this side, it's a very cool vehicle. I think I should. Well, it would be good if you were able to hold on a minute. Yes, you can. You can film from the inside. I knew you could do something with this. So there you go. You can film from the interior. And that's a very cool um there you go, that might be even be the thumbnail there. So it's a very cool um, prop point for um, for NLW. I definitely will get around to using it in some form or fashion because it is a, a very cool vehicle to just sort of open up and you know explore with, really. But filming is, is a lot more fun when you've got a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop right there past me. You forgot the most important vehicle. We're done talking about the ambulance. Let's talk about the freaking tank. How did I forget about the tank? Look at this thing. So I got this in a charity shop last year. I did a video on it, but how can I include the NLW garage without the piece de resistance? The tank, it's got a cannon. Does the ambulance have a cannon? Absolutely not. It's got its own hatch. Two hatches, in fact. And it spins around like this. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can, look, you can even store your inventory in these side bits. And I didn't even cover that in the last video. Shame on me. You can aim these cannons as well, as well as, wait, no way. Can I even put stuff? Yes, I can put stuff in the back. It's even got its own back interior um, thing on the side here. Uh, yeah, geez, I can't believe I nearly left out the freaking tank. There you go. And that's a good as point of any to end the video on. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, smash that like button. Comment down below if you own any of the vehicles you've seen in this video. And remember to subscribe to NLW Figs for daily resting figure content in the month of December. That is it from me. Thank you for watching. If you don't subscribe, I'll shoot you. I'm just kidding. See ya.